Hey guys, welcome back to Angular 10 Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Tutorial Series. Let's develop Delete Employee REST API. Go to the Employee Controller. Within Employee Controller, we are going to develop Delete Employee REST API. Delete Employee REST API. Alright, just follow the steps. Just create a method first, public. So we are going to return a deleted employee with status uh, message right for that just type just return a map as a response just give key as string and value as boolean and let's give method name as delete employee and let's pass id as method argument long id and let's use at the rate delete mapping annotation so this method will handle or delete http request for that we are going to use at the delete mapping annotation and let's go and let's configure the rest endpoint url employees slash id as a path variable and now we are going to map this id with the java variable right that is a long type for that we are going to use at the rate path variable annotation pretty simple so in order to delete the employee first we need to get a existing employee with id right so let me reuse this code so first we'll retrieve a employee with the id if employee with this particular id is not existing database then we simply throw the resource not found exception and it's pretty simple again we just simply pass a employee object to the delete method so here we're going to use the employee repository and we're going to call a delete method and we pass a employee object to the delete method so this will return this will uh, delete a particular employee and look at here the return type of delete method it is a wide okay now what we'll do we'll simply create a map object to simply return uh, like a message uh, deleted as a true uh, key as a string and value as boolean so we we'll need to notify to the client uh, something like the delete uh, record is deleted successfully right for that we are going to just return deleted as true or false okay and uh, just give reference as response and this is a cosa hash map and response dot put so let's put our entry here so we're gonna say key as deleted the response as uh, the value as true okay and return response entity dot okay and just in a body just pass a response so again uh, we have to specify response entity as a re uh, return type here all right that is pretty much what we have done let me stop the server we have retrieved a employee with id particular id from the database if record is not exist then we simply throw the resource not found exception and we have called a delete method of employee repository and we pass the employee object to the delete method this will delete a you know employee and the delete method does not return anything so we simply create a map with a entry as deleted true and we simply return that map to the client it's pretty simple rest api now let's start our spring project and uh, let us test delete employee rest api using postman rest client all right guys our application is up and running on embedded tomcat server on port 8080 now we'll delete a particular employee let me show you uh, here in our mysql workbench so look at here we have four records in a table so we are going to delete a record one uh, uh, the record with id1 okay we are going to delete this particular record go back to the postman rest client and go to the new tab here and just type localhost 
slash 8080 slash api slash v1 slash employees and we are going to call a delete rest api for that we are going to choose a delete http method here and we are going to delete a required with id 1 so let's pass 1 here as a path variable and hit send button so look at here the status 200 and record is successfully deleted and we got a deleted true as a response let's verify it in a database so let me quickly run this query select query and look at here a particular record is successfully deleted from the table let's delete one more record so we are going to delete a record with id 2 so let's go back to the postman red client and just pass 2 here and hit send button yeah here we go we got a success response let's verify let's execute select statement here we go the record is deleted successfully all right that is pretty much about delete employee rest api we have successfully developed delete employee rest api and uh, we have tested it using postman rest client thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in next one